Microsoft working on a crowdsourced location platform, and the Nokia 800 branding gets leaked. All this and more coming up right now. Hello everyone, I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocketnow.com and welcome to Windows Phone View, the show we wrap up all this week's good and bad inside the world of Microsoft's Windows Phone platform. Let's start this week off with what's good. Well, if your wallet was left ticking about either the HTC Radar or Titan, have a look at our recent coverage of the HTC Radar's video showcase, which brings you a lot of information on what to expect on the device. The device brings a metallic unibody design, which is beautiful. It really stands out from the crowd, so there's a lot of things to expect from it. Sadly, we still don't have release dates on the device in the US, but hey, a lot of us are waiting for it as much as you are, so hey, we'll keep you posted whenever we learn about anything. Remember, we have our hands-on videos of the Titan and the radar when our friend Anton D. Nagy was in Berlin on the IFA event, so make sure you have a look at those if you want to help yourself make up your mind about getting it or not. And also make sure you look at Brandon Miniman's recent editorial about why Windows Phone 7 is winning and why Mango is going to set the bar for getting Windows Mobile to come from good to great, so make sure you look at that too. And well, our man Evan Blass, expert in all leaks foreign and domestic, did a great job in pulling some retail imagery of what we expect from the Nokia prototype Code 800. Now what's interesting is that Nokia seems to be pushing a lot of Facebook within this sale, and well, we're not sure if this is going to be a Facebook branded phone or not, but it most likely will be the C-Ray device that's been leaked, that's bringing information from that Nokia N9 that everybody already knows about, probably the design and everything else. Now interesting enough, it seems that Nokia will We'll also keep the Nokia 800 name for this device in the end, so really interesting. Let's see what history pulls in the end. On the software front, great news for all of us YouTubers because the HTML5 version of YouTube now works in Mango for those of us that want to use it mobile. I could say finally, but I'm going to cut Mango some slack because first of all, it hasn't even been released, so it looks really good. In my personal testing, I've tested it on an iPhone 4, a Google Nexus 1, and the Dell Venue Pro that I own, and trust me, the Dell Venue Pro blew them away in HTML5 performance, so this is really good news. It seems that it loads video a lot faster faster than these other competing devices. Aside from that, the official Mango ROM for the HTC Mozart was leaked on HTA developers, and well, some people are already getting it. And aside from that, the Samsung Omnia 7 Mango engineering ROM was also released for engineers, apparently, for testing, so these are all good news. It seems that Mango is just around the corner. And well, Microsoft's new job posting has them looking for a highly motivated group of people to work on a core location service platform to help Windows Phone 7. Now, interesting enough, you know that Microsoft's currently going through this location gate lawsuit issue, so not really sure what they're expecting with this, but it seems that Microsoft wants to use some sort of crowd-based system where Windows phones that accept to share their location will help them build their database on information of your location whenever your GPS is not working. Working, or whenever you're not really using your radio, like for example, if you're on air airplane mode or something now, not really sure what to expect about this. I mean, Microsoft, it's already hot on your front, so let's see what happens in the end. Let's see if you end up pulling it off and if you get the team. Now that does it for the good, let's continue on with what's bad. Microsoft has decided to respond on record regarding the class action lawsuit about location gate. And well, Microsoft said that they are investigating because most likely they really don't have any problem. Now, I invite you to have a look at Adam Lane's recent video regarding all this lawsuit issue. Adam shows us clearly about 20 times, or I'm probably exaggerating, but he shows us so many ways in which Microsoft asks customers if they're interested in sharing their location or not, including in the camera application where Microsoft's being sued. Now, interesting enough, Adam was able to take a picture with location data shared and the picture without location data shared, transported these images to his computer, and he was able to show us on video that Microsoft does a really good job in not sharing your location data when you choose not to share it. So, I mean, I think this class action lawsuit is dumb and, uh, you know, you just hate people that are actually making a living out of this. But anyways, that's it for today's show. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Jaime Rivera. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. That's it for now.